Hello and welcome to Zach 103 TV and today we are racing at Watkins Glen and starting on poles Dropsy or NXSM, Dim, Jermich 81. And round up our top five. Third starting is Pure Evan who won at Dodge Motor Dome. And fourth starting is John McFadden yet to get a top five this year. And Dissect starting fifth are... Um, North Wilkesboro winner. Let's go John McFadden in the cockpit to get the engine started in just a bit. Uh, team owner for McFadden Racing. Good to see how this goes here. Nine laps, by the way. Drivers, start your engines. And the engines are started here at Watkins Glen. Dropsy, our pole sitter. So again, nine laps. I do have yellows turned off. It's like uh, seal filing in back there. Uh, hopefully we don't have an accident. Should have him filed in just a minute. Here we come to the green flag. Watkins Glen. Is that going with 3TV 400? So you're going to drive it into the corner here with help from Pure Evan. Drum Chick 81 getting stuck on the top there. Coming into the bus stop. Dropsy lead them in. Dropsy has had a rough, rough year. Probably one of our most uh, unlucky drivers, probably. Has not had the season they have liked this year. But so far up front and looking at a possibility of a win. So. Not bad right now, as we see the 24 of Dark X Rain go below there on uh, Ronnie Martin. And uh, Dark X Rain uh, is going to complete the first lap in the lead. Well, let's uh, check out. Uh, Chick A1. And our Jazz 500 winner, the only driver this season, two wins so far this year. Definitely a championship favorite. Points leader, you name it, they probably have done it. They also won at Bristol uh, as well. As we see Nada Weeb poking out there. Uh, let's go with. Uh, Chickity ones, Roof King. Very strong year this year, but he's been trying without a doubt. Definitely been trying to get into the playoff picture. Play with a lot. Good fourth place finish here. 
get him in, back in that pitch with the right hand. Dyson, he won at North Wilkesboro. Brad Stover, another driver we see up here who has uh, not had much success this year, but uh, he's been up here once in a while. And I believe uh, the 88 of Brandon Nelson, hot highest run for, uh, or actually, no, he's not the highest run for, for Evans. He's hot for Boy, have they been making some noise this year. Drops, of course, leading. Got number 54. Let's check the standings. Uh, oh, it looks like Jason Waymeyer is out of the race. Um, let's see if we can find out what happened to him. Let's see. Coming into turn one. Now, a little bit of clog back here. Uh, this was actually on the initial start of a race. Oh, um got spun around into Abigail Lane and then into Roach. Come to the six Abigail Lane. So this was triggered by um, I think. So let's look at um uh see what happened to him. Let's go slow-mo here. So coming into turn one. It kind of start getting bodily bottled up, and I think he got he might have gotten tagged. Uh oh, uh Iron Crusader turned Evett Van D right into him. And Abigail Lane into Roach, who's had a solid season. Uh, Roach didn't well, he got a lot of rear damage, and unfortunately, Jason Waymeyer out of the race. There's one back there. Out of definitely out of contention in 40th, and then uh also, way back in the pack is uh, the 100 seal. I don't know what happened to him. He's just way back there in the pack. And Dropsy still leading. Position changes in this race. And Dropsy hoping it stays that way as we are lap five out of nine. Also, last race, uh, Pulsar, uh, actually, Mark Salming was not Pulsar, he started second. He won the race at Las Vegas, so, yeah. Uh, our Salamander, he's not showing, I don't see him up here, in, anywhere near up here, but he's in the race, I assure you. These guys might start getting spread out as we are coming to complete lap five. Um, so Seal is 35 seconds back. I don't know what happened to Seal, but I think he might have got involved in that incident. It just fell back. And Jason Waymeyer currently still the only driver out of the race. John McFadden racing in the 117 Calvin Dodge. Unfortunate record on the start has not had a great season this year. Uh, did well at Atlanta though, but other than that, didn't really have much noise this year. And through the bus stop and out through the carousel, I believe it's called. The drop seat pulling away a little bit. Pure Evan. And from Chick 81 already at the top two in points. German Check 81 consistent almost every race. And Ronnie Martin's starting to get some good finishes too. He's a seventh right now, and that finish will get him in. And another driver who's just had a rough year. NASCAR fan number seven. Very rough season, and he's running in the ninth today. So, he's to Boston and finished terribly at. Las Vegas. It's just had a rough year. Uh, best finish this year, third, and that was at Ricky Raceway. Um, just a rough year. And hopefully bounce back and get into the playoffs before the season ends. Let's go back to uh, uh, Dropsy. Continually pulling away as we see John McFadden maybe going for that uh, 81 over there. Making it side by side. Yeah, we're going to look at this 89 here. He's the first one we've seen even make a move. 
on anyone this whole race up here. In the he wants up there. He's in, uh, I just think he made the wrong move, the right move at the wrong time. Cause it's caused these two to fall back a little bit. We see Pure Evan uh, catching up to that uh, 54 a little bit, but definitely watching this 89. He he's going for it here. We're coming to two to go this time. Bye. Dropsy in the lead right now. So, it's just down a rough season so far right now. I wouldn't have been doing some good. I don't think I don't think it'll make them in the playoffs, but uh, it's the first step into that. Then get some consistent finishes. I think they got a good chance of a pretty solid season if they can get a win. You got a win today. We've seen almost next to no position changes in the top 10 this entire race. Then we've seen John McFadden just a lap go try to make a move. That did not work. We are watching this 11 car to the two. Uh, he could make the last lap pass. Uh, not yet to the last lap. Dropsy trying to hold on and stay in front of that 11. Mostly single file throughout the pack. Another bad race for. Um, huh? Uh, which kind of one? I've been watching him. Sounds like a white flag. Coming into the bus stop for the final time, we are still watching that 11 car, but I don't think he's going to catch him here. I don't think so. Still watching him. Just a few more corners left and drops him. Might win. And drops him. Just a couple more corners. No yellows. Fortunately for Jason Waymire, Rex out. And Dropsy will come to the final corner. And Dropsy will be the something different winner in the Cars Land Cup Series. And uh, congratulations to them. Another solid top 10. And, and D, really good solid top 5 for John McFadden. Killed Williams for a second, unfortunately. Back on the back. There's his team over right next to him, Cactus King. That's uh, a decent season. He has one win for the driver right in front of him. Also a team over uh, So, um, yeah, I think we're going to Kansas Super Speedway next to the Super Speedway race. And uh, we're going back to uh, 54. And we're going to call it here. We'll see you guys at Kansas.